Welcome back to Plot Twist, my new Excel chart series where we transform boring data into one of a kind charts. In today's episode, we're turning up the heat by learning how to create a thermometer chart in Excel. Let's get started. A thermometer chart is an Excel chart that looks like a thermometer and is great for visualizing progress or where a number falls within a scale. For example, here we have our total sales for the year along with our target sales, and we want to visualize how close we are to hitting our target. This is a fun opportunity to create a thermometer chart. To create a thermometer chart in Excel, first we need to add a few values to our data. I personally think thermometer charts look the cleanest and are the easiest to read if the scale is out of 100%. So first we need to add a column that calculates the percent we are to our goal. To calculate percent complete, enter an equal sign and divide total sales by the target sales. Lastly, we need to add a column that contains the maximum value on our scale, which in this case is 100%. This value is going to represent the white body of the thermometer chart, while the percent to goal value is going to represent the colored portion that fills the thermometer. Now that our data is set up, we are ready to create the thermometer chart. To create a thermometer chart, start by selecting the two new values we just added to our table, navigating to the Insert tab, opening the column or bar chart dropdown, and inserting a 2D column chart. Next, let's clean up the chart a little bit by deleting the chart elements we don't need. So I'm going to select both the chart title and X axis and hit the delete key. I also like to remove the chart border to give it an embedded look in the worksheet by selecting the border, navigating to the format tab, opening the shape outline dropdown and selecting no outline. Okay, now that we have the base for our thermometer chart, we need to group both of these columns into one variable so we can stack them on top of each other to create the thermometer. To group both of these values, Navigate back to the chart design tab and select the switch row slash column button. Now that both columns are plotted under one variable, we can stack them on top of each other by right clicking either bar in the chart, selecting format data series, and setting the series overlap to 100%. This is looking better, but we aren't quite there yet. We want the percent to goal to be on top of the maximum value column so that we can see both columns. To move the percent to goal column to the front, Right click the column in the chart, choose select data, and then hit the downward arrow button in the legend entries window to move series one below series two. Hit okay to save the changes, and now we can see both columns in the chart. Perfect. Next, let's adjust the formatting of these values to look more like a thermometer. First, let's format the percent to goal column by selecting it in the chart and selecting the color we want our thermometer chart to be using the fill color dropdown. Next, let's format the maximum value by setting the fill color to white and adding a border to outline the thermometer by selecting it in the chart, choosing the color white under the fill color dropdown, selecting solid line under the border section, and updating the border to match the percent to goal column using the fill color dropdown. Okay, this is starting to look a lot better. We've officially created the tube of our thermometer. Now let's clean it up a little bit by adjusting the Y axis to reflect our exact measurement scale by selecting it in the chart, clicking the chart icon, opening the axis options menu, and setting the minimum value equal to zero and the maximum value equal to one so that our scale goes from zero to 100%. I also like to make the width of the chart smaller to make the thermometer thinner, but you're welcome to make the thermometer as thick as you want by adjusting the chart width. Last but not least, we need to add the circle to the bottom of the thermometer in the chart. To insert a circle, navigate to the Insert tab, open the Shape drop-down menu, select the circle shape, and insert a circle by clicking and dragging. Once you're happy with the size of the circle, move the circle to the bottom of the thermometer and update the color to match using the Shape Fill and Shape Outline drop-downs. Finally, group the chart and the circle together so you can move it throughout the worksheet by selecting both while holding the Shift key, right-clicking the mouse, opening the group menu and selecting group. Our thermometer chart is officially complete. Now it's time to get back to selling to fill the chart to 100%. We've taken our data from zero to boiling point in Excel thanks to our new thermometer chart. 
If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date with Plot Twist.